Hi, I am Lucas Khan and I am in Long Beach Comic Con 2014 with Mr. Jim Cummings. Hello. So Thanks for inviting me out to play. <laughs> so what do you do? Well, I, uh, I'm a voice actor and I do voices for a lot of cartoon characters and sing and say things like, in a world, stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> so would you give us another example of that? Well, I suppose I could do some Winnie the Pooh for you, but I don't have any honey. But I can't do any bouncing because I left my stripes at home. <laughs> so how big is creativity to you? Well, I think, uh, well, creativity is everything to everybody, I think, because uh, without creation, uh -huh, we wouldn't be here. But, uh, but you knew that. But, uh, you know, I think uh, the thing is that uh, you just can't be afraid, you can't be timid, uh, and don't be afraid to make mistakes and jump out there. And uh, I had a, a friend of mine, Alan Koss, an actor, he said that when you're doing animated voices and uh, things like that, it's so broad and it's so this or that, but it's the freedom to be a jerk or an a-hole is actually what he said, but I won't say that here. So, uh, you, you know, and if you, you do it enough and do it right, it, it seems to work out, I guess. so. You know, it helps to uh, be a little fearless, mm -hmm. I think. So what would you want to tell students and our audiences who are kind of afraid to show their creative side? Well, you know, uh, I can tell you as far as uh, being a voice actor goes, uh, the way I used to do it, I was always in plays as a kid because mm -hmm. people say, well, how do you start? How do you get into it? I was always in plays and I'd be 10 years old and instead of wanting to be the, the little prince, mm -hmm. I'd ra I wanted to be the, the monster or the ogre or the wizard because it was, you know, a little <laughs> more something to sink your teeth into. And I was always in those plays as a kid and in a music uh, musicals and uh, and you know I used to do uh, impressions of my relatives yeah. who were not famous but they were good impressions so that was like a new character and if you do an impression of somebody that everybody knows very famous and it doesn't sound like them at all that's a new character too mm -hmm. because so you know so uh, you know you can just put them in your little mental rolodex mm -hmm. and go back and and pull them out when you need it. That's that's how I did it, and uh, I didn't know that it was supposed to be tough to break into, so I just bl blundered in. So uh, that's one w good way to do it. They, you know, they say go hunting with a shotgun. So, you know, they weren't waiting on me when I showed up. So jump in and do it. Everything is honey everywhere I see. Everything is honey, and that's quite all right with me. Oh. <laughs> It's a dangerous path I bounce, but I bounce it alone. Because the hundred acre wood needs the hero poo bear, and I'm the only one. So, um, what are your current projects right now? Well, let's see, there's uh, Goldie and Little Bear, uh, which is a continuation of the Little Red Riding Hood mm -hmm. story. Uh, I play the big bad wolf. Uh, I play bad guys too, uh, it's okay. And uh, Nomeo and Juliet 2, uh, I, I think the working title is Sherlock Gnomes. Uh, we're going to be starting on that in January. Uh, Elton John and uh, uh, David Furnish, his partner, that was their movie for Disney. A new movie coming out uh, with John Cleese and a bunch of other people animated called Animal Crackers. And another one that they don't have the title for yet, so I can't tell you. I guess Star Wars Rebels is going to be coming to a TV near you. So um, I'm sure I'm forgetting a few, but you'll just have to stay tuned. Okay, we'll definitely check it out. Well, thank you for giving us the time My to pleasure. tell us your insight about creativity. Well, thanks, Lou. Thanks yeah. for coming out and hanging out. Thank you. And stay just as bouncy as you can. TTFN. <laughs>